What's going on guys, Zach here from Premier, PremierPro.com. What's up folks, Zach here from PremiumBeat.com with some Premier Pro editing hacks. The first hack that I wanna talk about is creating your own presets. Now maybe you've downloaded presets online, maybe they're sound effects, maybe they're like color profiles, maybe there's some like effects. You can create them really simply in Premiere and I've done this to speed up my workflow on certain projects. Maybe you're doing like a video that has a consistent theme. Maybe it's like a Ken Burn effect where the camera's always zooming in. And what I've done is I've created these for color effects. So I have uh, consistent colors that I really like within my videos that I have down in my presets, which I just drag and drop and put into here. I also have some others that I've downloaded and it doesn't just go with color profiles, it even goes with camera movement. So if I wanna grab this one that's called Bad Video, it's this jittery effect that I created. If you press play, the camera kind of bumps up and down and creates a bit of this blur, which is sort of like a bad video effect that I use in other videos on my own personal YouTube page. So how do you do that? How do you make them? It's really easy. Easy. Basically, Premiere Pro to create presets works off of using effects from their effects panel. So what you wanna do is go into the effects panel and type in transform. Now this will help you with doing animated camera effects. So grab transform from underneath distort, drag and drop it into your video effect. And let's say we wanna do just like some simple camera movement as our preset. What you do is press scale, press play, scale it right in. Then we have this like fun zoom effect and what we'll do is we'll just stretch it out throughout the entire clip so that it does this slow zoom. And this way it covers the entire shot. Now what I'm gonna do is right clip, right clip, right click, transform, save as preset, and it's gonna save all of those scaling effects as you can see here, type is scale. So now what we're gonna do is call it Ken Burns and press okay. Now I've created my own Ken Burns effect. Now if I go into presets, go down to Ken Burns and drag and drop it into my following clip. What it'll do is copy and paste those settings into the next clip and do that slow scale in. If I press play, the camera is slowly zooming in. This works really well if let's say you're doing like a montage or you just wanna be able to quick and drag and drop that in there. And the same works for let's say color effects. So we'll do an other preset yet again where I'll go into my Lumetri color and just mess around with the colors. I'm gonna crank up the sharpening, go into basic correction, contrast, I really like blue clips, so I'll do that, make it like super bright, and then I'll make it go darker like that. Now, this is this look that I've created for my Oz, like contrasty, Ozarky type show. Again, we'll go down into Lumetri Color, which this is the color effect that we did. We'll right click it, right click it, and do save preset. I'm gonna call it PB Ozark. Now, that is Premium Beat Ozark, not Peanut Butter Ozark. Peanut Butter Ozark, that's funny. Have you guys seen Peanut Butter Falcon? Can you imagine they did a pairing between Peanut Butter Falcon and Ozarks? Anyway, we'll press okay, boom. Now we have created yet another one, Peanut, Peanut Butter Ozark. Drag and drop it and put it in my first clip, boom. Now we have the Peanut Butter Ozark effect over top of our clip. I highly recommend not making looks like this. I mean, maybe you're working on something and this is a good look for it and you're like, Zach, how do I download your PB Ozark look? This is how you do it. You can just write that in the comments and I'll share it with you. What I'm wanting to do is share the color look from this shot right here. So what I'm gonna do is create my look or create my color rather. And I'm gonna go into creative and actually just dive into some of these um, like looks that I have. So I'll press this one here. This is from a website called Bounce Color and this is one of the color effects, but it's not exactly the way I want it. So I'm just going to adjust it by dropping the temperature, boosting up that contrast, maybe putting like a little bit of a vignette on it. Boom, Bob's your uncle, I really like the look of this. But I also want this shot to be scaled in along with all the other clips because that's the effect that I'm going for. Now, what I'll do is I'll press Control C, which then copies all of the settings that are within that clip into some sort of memory bank on Premiere Pro. Don't know where that copy goes. But anyway, it's holding on to it. What I want now is that effect to go across all of these other clips in this timeline that I cut together in five seconds. Right click, 
Then what we'll do is go paste attributes. This little drop down menu is gonna come up and it'll have all these boxes that can sometimes be overwhelming. What you wanna make sure is that you're pasting the motion, which is the scale. That's what I want from it. I want it scaled in 125%. I also want the Lumetri color effect popped on there. So I will check this off here as well. And then press OK. And that's going to copy and paste all of my settings from that shot so that all my clips have a cohesive theme. So maybe you're doing like a big edit where you want all of the shots to have the same color effect. Maybe you want all of them to have a similar zoom effect. And maybe it's not going through the process of creating your own preset it's just by doing this quickly and this is actually much faster than creating a preset you're just copying and pasting and doing something quick and dirty my next thing to speed up the workflow let's say you have created your own uh, presets one thing that I found that I do all the time and I just realized that this is something you can do uh, normally I take my preset that I've created let's say peanut butter Ozark and I drag and drop it over but look at how much time it takes to go from here all the way to here and dragging and dropping it. So instead, all you gotta do is double click it, double click the effect, and it adds it in. And that happens with all of your things that you have in here. So whatever it is, so long as your corresponding clip is selected in your timeline, you can just double click the effect and it affects it. Next one is creating your own keyboard shortcuts. I have created major ones that I use all the time, uh, but you can create your own. In Premiere Pro, if you open up keyboard shortcuts, you're gonna have all of these different things available. And let's say there's a thing that you do all of the time. So for example, you want it to go to full screen and there's a certain way you wanna do it. You can just by literally clicking onto um, the mode that you want. Now I've already created mine. And then typing in the effect that the way that you want it to be applied. So shift command F, that's how I toggle full screen. So depending on whatever your preset is, mine for full screen is command shift F full screen. And again, you can do this for so many other things, but it will really change the game for you. So figure out whatever keys you're constantly using, whether it's changing the volume, putting it into full screen. What Premiere Pro does is creates a really good layout, but to become a master editor, it's to be able to have everything custom for you. Next one is audio gain set to zero. So what I mean by that is if you have a selection of clips, maybe it's a talk to camera video or whatever, um, the audio levels are probably all going to be everywhere. So what I do when I first bring in my clips into my timeline, the audio levels are really low. It's at minus 26 and it's not the audio level that people normally hear at. They like to hear everything at about a minus zero. So what we'll do, we'll highlight all of these clips, right click the audio, go into adjust gain or audio gain, and then normalize max peaks to minus zero. What that's gonna do is set all of my audio clips within my timeline to a level that A, all of a sudden if we see into our audio track, we're gonna see all the levels boost up. And now if we press play, it's all at a level that is up to standard for a lot of people. Now you could set it to a minus one, you set it to a minus two. I find minus zero is kind of the sweet spot. It's not peaking out at any level and it just kind of automatically sets it all. So I do that for the video that you're watching right now even. So a really, really good preset. And again, if you guys have audio presets that you like and you want the audio to sound a certain way, you can make that as a preset, double click that, pop it in, or make it a shortcut. I don't know if you can do that, but that would be cool. So anyway, all of these hacks, you can put into one hack and make like a hack sandwich. That's it, guys. Hopefully you learned something from these presets. It's something that I use all of the time in every single one of my videos. There are ways to, it feels like you're shaving off like milliseconds, but really milliseconds add up um, to be saving you hours of time in an edit. It also just allows you to know a little bit more about the software you perhaps use every single day. So hopefully this gave you a little bit of insight into Premiere Pro. If you like the content that I'm talking about and want to learn more, you can check out the blog post attached to this uh, from premiumbeat.com where there's much more um, written articles and other videos by other incredibly talented creators beyond myself. So if you like this, you'll like everything else on there. There's also uh, a way to follow more Premium Beat content, which it, there's a button down there you can press and it notifies you of the videos that are being published. It's another button you can press, which then notifies you again. There's like double notification and then you can like it, comment, so do, do the YouTube thing. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Keep making some great stuff. And um, yeah, I'm going to see how much I can use this peanut butter Ozark effect.